Right. I think maybe we're good to go. No viewers. Doesn't say any viewers, so we'll plow on nonetheless. Okay. So uh, welcome back to uh, 3D Printing Adventures Part 5. Um, so the last one we left, we had a problem with the bed. Um, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the level into work, and then I lost the spring. Uh, it turns out I didn't lose a spring. Uh, the spring was already um, underneath the sensor on the back screw. So uh, we'll look at that either later on in this or in the next episode when i show you how to level the bed um i've already leveled leveled it um but i'll go through the motions again just to show you how to do that um so now today hopefully i've got this right now so we can actually go in and have a look at the uh, software and things like that that come with the uh Crea creality ender three um uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to screen share and then we're going to go in and i've downloaded hi mark i've downloaded the stuff you it comes on a little usb stick when you get your printer um uh, and basically i've just put it in there and i've made a copy on my laptop just to uh, make sure that uh, if anything happens to the card because sometimes these cards can be a bit iffy i've got the copy right so um i'm <laughs> i just show you my desk quickly i'm in the moment of building a few things and it's it's a bit of a mess so uh, uh as you can see it's absolute mayhem on here at the moment and that you, you can't see that the all the crap over there um so i'm just squeezed over in this tiny corner um and my the feeling in my face is just coming back um i've been at the dentist today and uh so <laughs> i'm uh yeah let's let's get down to this so um right then so i'm going to screen share and then we're going to go and look at the information right So here we are, we're going to go into my, um, when it opens, Let's just close the top one, we don't need them both open. and we're going to go well now i've put mine in did i put it in documents or downloads uh documents so i've put it under end of three So when you open it up first, you'll get uh, this here. Um, this bottom one, we'll get to that. So we'll start from the top. Um, and to begin with, uh, I think they're mainly PDF guides. Um, so we're going to this first one, and it's just instructions um, and a quick start guide and a Windows uh, movie file. 
so that you can there's a uh, like a brief introduction on there i guess uh the instructions are normally very well laid out um for example here we have the um That's the quick start guide there, so we'll look at that in a minute. So they come like this, um, so easily easily viewable on a tablet. Um, you can scroll down, and checking your pieces that you've got, uh, checking your screws, um, and just going through. the steps very very easy very well laid out simple to follow um, not a problem at all at no point did i have any issues in the putting together of this machine um, yeah I, I just can't fault it really um, Come on, there we go. And you just follow the steps like that right through until the end. Steps 12 where you connect up all your motors and everything. Each motor has a small um, label on it um, where it says, you know, X, and you'll go onto the motor, you'll know which is your X and which is your. E and which is uh, Y, Z, uh, and so on. So that, that's your basic. They're, they're your basic instructions for setting up the um, printer, like building it. Um, then you've got your bed leveling guide, and also your guide for your software. So. Um, this one works on let me just remember so this one again shows you a schematic and it concentrates on the lcd menu here you can see all the different features and it tells you um, what the button press will do um, and so on it also shows you how to load filament how to level the bed and software installation um, there is a file in here for software installation we'll look at it in a minute then we've got preparing to print all this is done from the printer so there's no um, interaction from the pc at this stage uh, and then you've got a little troubleshooting guide right at the bottom and then a uh, color photo wiring diagram um, in Chinese and English by the look of it. Um, so again, concise, clear to the point, no problem at all. Um, so we'll close that one now. Then uh, that was the quick start guide there. So we looked at the instructions, then the quick start. I'm not going to look at the video. Um, I will probably put this up in the sprue surgery waiting room if you remember just pop along there go into documents and uh, i'll get it put up in the next few days and you can download it if you wish or connect to the link and watch the video um and we're going to come out we're going to go back one um then we've got the software and usb drivers um now if we click on these you put the cura link you put the cura software in first i haven't yet looked at this software all i can tell you is when you put it in there will be an update due there's there's a couple you have to update it once and then you have to update it again um, and they do take quite some time to do if i remember rightly um, so make sure you leave yourself plenty of time to do that there's your software drivers. Um, I haven't actually put these in yet that I'm aware of. So um, that's something that I need to look at. 
nothing else for us to see there. The troubleshooting guide, I haven't really had a look at. Um, so let's just see if it's the same flow chart as um, what we saw a few seconds ago. Quite possibly. I know it's a bit more, it's a bit more in depth than uh, what we just saw. Um, so we've got a list of uh, all right. So you know, there's um, different uh, problems there that uh, are getting resolved and uh, how to resolve them. So again. Very well done. Now modal, I'm not sure what modal is. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know what they are. So I can't tell you. Maybe somebody can leave a comment. Um, test dog code. So th th this is, there's a, there's a dog, three, there's a 3D model of a dog that you can print um on this and that's obviously that file there uh, i don't know what this stl file is squirrel chess right okay squirrel chess i don't know what that is i'll look into that sorry can't help you on that one uh the user guide which basically is what we looked at back here they've put it it's just been put in a couple of times uh, this is the setup profile. Um, now, in one of the guides, I think it's um, just bear with me. It's one of these. Got to find it, Modal in three years ago. Is it this one? So, I don't know what this is. This is just a spreadsheet of some sort. Reference data. So, this is something, um, I'm not sure what this is. I, I don't think this is meant to be in here. Unless these links, yeah, they take you through to... So, this is a menu of sorts. Um... Now, somewhere in here, there is a guide for setting up the software. And let me just close that up because that's not, uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. No, I thought it was, it must be this one here. Right. There we go. Right, so when you start your uh, software, when you first go into it, you're going to have to add your printer. Now, if you don't uh, update it, when you go in, your printer, the end of the Creality, end of three will not be on there. Um, so you need to update it to, I think it's, um, is it 6.0? I'm not, not exactly certain. Um, 
Now, the thing is, when you come to that, a lot of this has changed. Um, so uh, you've, you've got to really sort of just most of these settings are still there. Um, but they're just that they doesn't look exactly the same layout. Um, but it does tell you what to put in for each of these uh, for the machine settings. Um, it isn't difficult to work it out. Um, I, I managed to work it out, so it's it's not difficult. Um, so you just go through each of the phases. So the first thing is you add a printer. Um, and uh, as I say, I didn't have the end of three. In fact, you can, it's, it's not, uh, somebody's had to type it there to add it. But in the, in the new version, um, which has been updated, uh, it's, it's on there. So you can select it. And then you just go through the various settings. And is it not? Um, no, there's uh, now somewhere. I don't want to spend ages looking for it, but somewhere in in on that USB stick will be um, all the settings you need, not just this one here where it says software installation. Um, it will have. Uh, a whole list of settings that need to be copied into the Cura software, Slicer software, on, so um, is which is what I'd done. Um, I don't know why it's not there. It's not with the instructions. So, end of three. Ah, hold on. It's probably in, um, so it's in these. So, yeah, this is the Cura guide. So, this is the guide to the software. And again, it's very well written. You just follow the um, instructions. Everything's laid out for you, black and white, well color. You can see they've uh, taken screenshots at every stage. So even though it's changed slightly, you're still um you've still got plenty of information to help you um set this up because uh, i've got to say without this um it would i think it'd be a bit of a nightmare you'd just be guessing um randomly guessing um and there's no guarantee see you then it gives you vital information here on uh, you've got to go into print multiple model from the tools and highlight print all at once. Um, you've got to enter your print speeds. Um, and anywhere where the box is red outline, then you've got to change the figures to match. Here it's saying basic printing temperature, you need to set 200, bed temperature 40. And you know, you just change everywhere where the box, red box says the red outline, change everything in there to match this. Um, and you're good to go. Um, and then obviously, you've got the G code. Uh, this is all about layer heights. There's so much um, in here for you. Uh, enable retraction. Those, you know, it takes you through every single setting and what it does and what it's for. Uh, extremely valuable fill density. Um, so, of course, for anyone wanting to read these, you just have to pause it as I go past. Um, 
Hi, Matt. Uh, hi, John. Um, print temperature. So, yeah, it's uh, all self-explanatory. Uh, I'm glad that uh, we managed to get time to look through this uh, USB stick at what you get. I think you've got a pretty good idea now of everything that's on here. Um, so I'm just going to close this down. I'll actually just open this up. Stop presenting from everyone. Still live at the moment. There we go. Um, so there we are. That's a quick look at the USB stick. Sorry, it's not in depth, but uh, you, you get the idea. Um, and uh, you can always pause it and have a look at a closer look at them screenshots. And as I say, I will get um, as much of the information as I can on uh, the Facebook. Uh, page sprue surgery waiting room for people you can come along download it have a good look at it then at your own leisure um and hopefully that that will give you a, a, a better idea of what's going on there um i'm not going to do anything more this video now i was planning on doing the leveling the bed um but uh obviously i got uh had some tooth work done today and that's that's wearing off um i think that's it uh don't forget if you like uh, if you like what i'm doing um and you want to see it continue then you know consider a donation it all goes to a good cause um the money any money raised goes to um uh buying a kit for review um, and video build, which is selected by um, the by the subscribers, um, and so half of that, half of any money raised goes to that. The other half goes into buying a kit for um, any and for the donators, people that have made donations to win. So any people that make a donation, when the time comes, they will be entered into the prize draw to win whatever kit it is that's um, purchased out of the half of the funds. So that, that's how I plan to run it. Um, hopefully people will um, like that. I don't want to block stuff behind a wall. So uh, it, it's more, you know, Every, everybody's got access but you know if you want to you can leave a donation that's that would be much appreciated it really would help so um that said next episode up will be the bed leveling um which is going to be a very short one again um and then we're printing uh and we're away so uh until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you soon